Diabetes. You either have it or you don't, right? Well, that's not quite true. Doctors have discovered a time just before a person becomes diabetic when their blood glucose levels start to creep up, but they don't feel any major symptoms. If you're one of the 50 million Americans estimated to have this pre-diabetic condition, you can still take control. Meet Lale Vakili, a pediatric dentist who has to keep her energy up to keep guys like this from squirming in her dental chair. My job is pretty mentally and physically demanding. Can you open really big like an alligator? She never slows down, pulling 15-hour days, six days a week. But recently, this dentist, who spots health problems in so many other people, began to notice that she was feeling tapped out herself. I started experiencing a lot of fatigue. I was really exhausted to an extent that I would just come home after work and I would just sit on the couch. I could not do anything else. Extreme fatigue crept into her workday, coupled with dry mouth and an overwhelming thirst. Lolly started guzzling water by the gallon. I wasn't sleeping well. I had huge shadows under my eyes. I looked essentially gray, really sick, like a zombie. For six months, Lolly shrugged off the signs, passing them off as a side effect of her busy work schedule. At home, she launched into a major remodeling job, pushing on and on and on until... A severe stomach flu, or at least that's what she thought it was, landed her in urgent care. The blood test came back and my blood sugar was 500, which is off the charts. At the time of diagnosis, her sugars were sky high, and it really took a lot of work and a lot of insulin to bring the sugars down. It never dawned on me that I could be diabetic. It never crossed my mind. I was really shocked. It was like the rug was pulled out from under me. Hi. Endocrinologist Karen Earle sees a lot of this at Sutter Health's California Pacific Medical Center, and she wishes she didn't because type 2 diabetes is so preventable. One thing that's really frightening is a lot of time when patients are diagnosed with diabetes, they've already started to suffer some of the complications from diabetes. The complications being eye disease, kidney disease, and nerve disease. If we can reach people at pre-diabetes, it's so much better than waiting till someone develops all the signs and symptoms of diabetes. Doctors are learning more. When someone gets type 2 diabetes, glucose or sugar builds up in the blood. But the cells are unable to absorb the glucose, so the body doesn't get the energy it needs. That's what happened to Lale long before she noticed anything was wrong. I've always struggled with my weight since I was a child. Um, I always was pretty low energy. Um, I had irregular menstrual cycles. And looking back, there was another sign. Diabetes runs in her family. There's a strong genetic predisposition for diabetes. We're seeing a lot of families with clusters with several family members developing diabetes. With that in mind, here's Dr. Earle's take-home message. If you have a family history, if you're overweight, sedentary, or have an ethnic predisposition, ask for a simple blood sugar test. If your fasting blood sugar is between 100 and 126, so you don't yet meet criteria for diabetes, but have high blood sugars in the morning before you eat, you're at risk for developing diabetes. 40% chance that you'll get diabetes in the next five years. Think this could never apply to you? Consider this. If you walk into a room with 20 people, chances are at least one of them has prediabetes and might not know it yet. In diabetes, the name of the game is prevention, prevention, prevention. We know our best treatment for prediabetes, or at least the best that we know of right now, um, is diet and exercise. Again, one of the hardest treatments to accomplish, because I can't just write a prescription for diet and exercise. It's something the patients really have to be motivated to do and to do on their own. Lale admits she missed the boat. Now she has to work hard to keep her blood sugar under control. Blurry vision, flu-like symptoms, the signs were all there, I just didn't see them. So, she has a message. It may not be too late for you. Note to self, if you have the signs, talk to your doc. All done, give me a big high five. Good job, woohoo!